Marius Bradis and Yoniel Dodicus will also be fighting for the WBC vacant title. So out of the World Boxing Super Series, they got three, three, three belts. So three unifications out of that. Blessed love and blessed day, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fighting nation. It's Coach Fire and this is real life boxing. Marius Breedis and Yuniel, the KO Dr. Dordicus, will fight for three titles, the WBC included. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded, and you can be notified when we are going live. Now, interesting article came out today um marius Breedis and janiel dordicus will fight for the wbc title also if you guys aren't familiar with those two fighters um they fought in the semi well they fought the semi-final rounds of the world boxing super series they both won um so now they will fight each other i covered both of those fights um the ko doctor dordicus knocked out um, the Beast, Andrew Tabidi, um, I covered that, and um, Marius Bradis knocked out Christoph Glowalki in a um, crazy finish, all types of craziness involved. But um, since then, some news has come out, and let's read the article. Bad left hook boxing, the fight is tentatively planned for November. With former cruiserweight champion Alexander Usyk now playing his craft at heavyweight, the WBC elected to sanction Super Series sem semifinal between Diamond champ Marius Bradis and Christoph Glowacki as a vacant title fight. It ultimately withdrew with the sanction in a dispute with the WBS -S and WBO over the ring official, which proved prophetic after WBO appointed referee Robert Byrd fouled things up something fierce. But WBC President Mauricio Suleiman tells ESPN that whoever wins between Brightest and Dordicus will be named WBC champion, making the fight a three-belt unification. Suleiman actually told ESPN Deportes about this a couple weeks back, but um, we missed it. As stated, Breedis 26-1 with 19 KOs is a diamond champ, while Dordicus 21-1, 22 KOs is the top contender. So it's not just uh, a bitterly tacked on. Both men had some early trouble in the Super Series. Um, Breedis took a questionable decision win over Noel um, Jeever, while Dordicus had to go to the distance for just the second time in his career against skilled Polish veteran, um, I can't say this guy's name, but Matasus Masternak. Um, they, they proved their, destru their, destru their destructive potential in the semifinals, though, as Breedis claimed the WBO belt with a wild KO of, of Glowacki. Um, and Dordicus leveled Andrew Tabidi with one of the year's nastiest right hands to win the vacant IBF. Um, as far as the remaining title, the WBA Super Belt is currently held by former champion in recess, Dennis Labidev, whose mandated bout with regular champ Arsene Gulamarian appears to be collapsing over the purse size. So um, off of the topic of Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman, um, I thought that that was interesting for um, those of you who are interested um, in in that type of news, um, <laughs> I did a couple videos on Christoph Glowacki and my and, and Myris Breedis because it was just wild. Um, Robert Bird, the referee. If you guys haven't seen that fight, um, go and look up that fight. World Boxing Super Series: um, Marius Breedis versus Christoph Glowacki, um, and I believe it was on the zone. Um, the zone um, telecasted it, but it was just it was just wild from the beginning to the end. I'll give you guys a quick summary. Glowacki, they got tangled up. Glowacki um, hit Breedis on the back of the head. You know what I mean? In the tie up, little rabbit punch. Um, Marius Breedis comes back up with a John's Bones Jones elbow, clips Glowacki. Down goes Glowacki. Um, referee Robert Bird never even acknowledged the foul. Told Glowacki get up. I mean, this guy got dropped with the with with the elbow. I mean, he was rocked. Um, 
Referee never acknowledged it, told him to get up, never gave him any time to rest, never gave him the five minutes, came back out. Um, Breeders starts clipping him again. The bell rings. These guys are going at it for about 30 seconds after the bell rung. Breeders clips Glowaki again. Glowaki goes down. This is all after the bell. So the round was technically finished. Um, Glowaki gets back up. They go to their corners. Um, they resume the fight, and Glowaki gets knocked out in the next round. So um, if you guys have not seen that fight, go and check it out. It was just wild. But I wanted to give you guys that update. Um, the World Boxing Super Series finals will now um, consist of three title belts on the line. So the winner, you know, that comes out of that is a... Um, three sanctioned and body world champion um unified unified champion so um uh, that's good for those guys i mean um i'm glad those guys are getting the opportunity that's a nice that's a nice feed and i mean three belts in one go and you're able to earn three belts inside of the um inside of the tournament you know what i mean that's dope i want you guys to tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section y'all know what we say keep fighting the fight and protect yourself at all times man hey go check out the marius Breedis and christoph glowaki fight it was crazy so if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.